We've been looking for ways to do local video playback with StreamYard. I, I myself have been in the forums uh, on the town hall every Sunday asking them time and again, when are we getting local video playback? And they say it's coming. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do local video playback now. Buckle up, and let's figure out how it all works. How, how, how it all works. Come on. So here we are on my desktop and I'm in, I'm already in StreamYard, just opened up the studio and I've got two things on the screen. I've got StreamYard and I've also got Finder. Um, basically this is where I have my local videos, local video playback, local videos. Here we go. So what we're going to end up doing is opening our videos with Chrome as a video player. Mm. Now I will say this right off the bat. It only works with MP4 videos. Chrome doesn't seem to work with MOV videos. In fact, when you drag it in, you are probably gonna have a, a download situation that takes place. But let me demonstrate this. So I've already got StreamYard open. I'm going to open a new tab, drag this video in, this is one of my latest YouTube videos, and here it goes. So it's ready to go, it's ready to play. I'm gonna pause it. Um, as you can see, this is a seven minute and 55 second video. Okay, so this video is here. I'm going to open another tab. I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to drag in. I did an interview this earlier this week with Kit Pang on his channel, and you can see it's opening the local file. You can see that URL there. It's taking a little longer because this is a longer video. And what I want to show you while this is queuing up is that you don't want to. You don't want to go to full screen until you've actually shared it. So once it comes up like this, the thing to do is to just pause it and wait. Okay. So I'm going to leave this setting itself up and go back to StreamYard. So here we are in StreamYard, slowing down because I know some of you have complained like, man, you need to move a little slower. So share screen, share screen. It gives you that other thing, says some. So I'm going to click on Chrome tab, select share audio, folks. I couldn't, this isn't, it gets so critical. I mean, if you don't share audio, there's no point. And then you can see here, um, buy me a coffee, that's the video. And then there's five tech tips for virtual public speaking. Both of those tabs are available. So I'm going to select this one, buy me a coffee, and I'm going to click share. Right? And so now that you have this blue box on your video, this is the time to click full screen. Now, when you click it, nothing happens here on the tab in Chrome that you're, you're working on, but something does happen in StreamYard. So when we go back over to StreamYard, this video is now ready to play and it comes in just like another video. In fact, this is essentially how uh, local video playback looks and works in Restream, except that you do have a little progress bar on the bottom to let you know uh, where you are. So what I'm going to do right now, and even as I do this, I want to I want to show something. You'll notice that when I shared my screen, it didn't automatically populate into the feed. And that reason why that that did that is because I have uncheck this new setting that StreamYard literally rolled out this week. A new setting that StreamYard rolled out this week. Automatically add share screens to stream. So you see that when you share a screen, we'll automatically add it to the stream. This was a, a major complaint. We've been talking to them about this in the town hall week after week, and they've finally given us this new setting. So kudos StreamYard. Thank you so much for that. So here, automatically add shares, shared screens to stream is unchecked so that when I share my screen, it just sits in the bottom as another guest waiting to go, which is great. I'm gonna bring this video into the stream. I'm gonna bring this one into the stream. And now we've got both videos in the stream. And there you can see that one is big, which is, is my screen. I can make it full screen. I can make my video uh, 
uh, the crop screen and allow this video to to be uh, what what they call I guess in the smaller screen this this layout I don't know what to call it it's the fourth layout uh, one two three four the fifth layout on the on the on the layouts here in Streamyard uh, so you can see my video along with the video itself now you're saying to yourself but Kirk you haven't played the video yet okay so when that video is up now you come over here and click play now that video is going to start moving now I know it's choppy I'm doing a screen record uh, I apologize for that but it is essentially in the system it's going it's playing now I, I don't know any other way to say this except to say you're going to have to trust me that this works perfectly when you're streaming I did this stream as a live stream two nights ago about eight or nine people were on with me I asked them how does it sound how does it look is it choppy everything that I, I asked them they said it sounds good looks good they told me how to get the full screen thing that's why I'm giving you those tips um, they also watched as I paused started stopped the video I scrubbed to the parts that I wanted to get to. It's a clean look. It is essentially mimicking local video playback, but your player is Google Chrome. And the, the, the stipulation there is it's gotta be an MP4 file, right? An MP4 file. So that's a seven minute video. And of course, some of you are saying, but we can play a, a 10 minute video into StreamYard. So this is not that big a deal. That's true, but this file is almost 400 meg. So that is a bit of a challenge. So I get my video at the original size, at the original quality, played into StreamYard as if it's a local video playback, which is great. So that's one way. And, 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 one, and I think that kind of proves the whole concept for you. I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna stop sharing uh, that screen, I should say. Come back over here, we're gonna close out Oh, this, this is probably playing and this is probably what was killing my, my processor anyway. So here, I'm going to kill this as well. So now we only have one video playing. This is an interview I did with Kit Pang earlier this week. So, and, th and you can see on the, time, on the uh, screen here that this is a 47 minute video. Okay, so 47 minute video. Can we play it into StreamYard? Here we go. So come back. We're going to go follow these exact same steps again. Share screen. We're gonna select a Chrome tab. I always just come right down here and select share audio first. That way I, I don't forget. Don't select your tab first, select share audio first. That way you know it's done. Select share audio, gotta share your audio. Okay, then I come back, click on the tab that I want, which is five tech tips for virtual public speaking. I hit share, it, come, it brings me over to the tab. And at this time, this is when you wanna hit full screen. Now I'm gonna leave it off of full screen for just a second. So I want you to see what it looks like when it's not on full screen. So now we're back in StreamYard. I'm gonna add this one to the screen. So now that is added. And you see that black bar at the top and the bottom? That's because I don't have it in full screen. Um, I can make it, I can have it take over the whole screen. And you see how that looks? That doesn't take up the whole screen. It's, 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 not, it's not clean. So how do we get that fixed? You gotta make sure that you come back over to your tab and click on full screen. It doesn't change anything here, but it does in StreamYard. So now I'm gonna click play on this thing. And so that's going, come back over to StreamYard. Here we go. And now you can see that it's full screen, nothing cropped. We're seeing the full video. This is a 47 minute video. It's I think two or so gigs. We're seeing the full video playing in StreamYard. Yes, I know that it's a bit choppy, but that's because I'm doing a screen record of a video being played into a online web platform, online streaming platform. So it's not gonna look great, but you're gonna have to take my word for it, or maybe you can test it out and let me know in the comments how it looked for you. Um, so let's let's run through these steps one more time. Let's, let's run through these steps one more time. You can see that it's playing there. I have, this this version of the file or this version of the layout uh, and then you have this version of the layout you can do all of these things it behaves as if it is another video in the system another guest i should say in the system which is great absolutely great uh for us to be able to do local video playback which is so so cool um so here we have that and that's playing in 
I'm going to stop share screen and we're going to walk that process one more time and then we'll be done. So like I said before, you want to go open a new tab and I know that this doesn't, you don't necessarily have to open a new tab because it doesn't necessarily work that way. I'm going to drag this MP4 file in. It does have to be an MP4 file. When you let it go, it's going to open it in a new tab. So you don't have to do a new tab. Um, I'm going to close this one. As you can see, this has already started playing. I'm going to pause it. Come back over to here. This is my outro, by the way. Share my screen. Select Chrome tab. Share audio. Do that first, folks. Make sure you share your audio. Grab the tab. That's the MP4 file name. It's gonna the tab is gonna be named the file name that you have from the local video that you want to play. Click share. Then once you bring brings you over to this tab, you want to actually select full screen. And then of course you want to click play uh, so that it can actually start playing. Come back into StreamYard. It's gonna be in the bottom section waiting for me to put it on screen. So now I'm adding it to the screen and it's playing like this and you have these three layouts that you can choose from. Play it full screen, whichever one you want. So there you have it, folks. <laughs> um, man, the steps are fairly simple, but we're using Chrome as a video player. And this enable us, aim, enables us to mimic local video playback in StreamYard even now before they've released that option to us. But in this video, we gave you a little Easter egg, um, something that was in a, you, unintended, wasn't in the title, but you get to know that now. New features uh, that uh, StreamYard has rolled out to us, which is the ability to not have your screen shared immediately as soon as you share it uh, in StreamYard as the host. So when guests came into your stream before, if they were gonna share their screen or PowerPoint or whatever, they would share it and you as the host had the opportunity to um, bring it on screen at the appropriate time. Uh, as the host, however, it just automatically popped up on screen. And so a lot of people were like, man, that's problematic, especially for folks like me who are producing shows for others. You want to be able to share your screen and not have it come in immediately. You want to be able to bring it on screen at the appropriate time. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but the steps here to use Chrome as a, a video player is essentially just drag and drop your MP4 file into a tab. It will open a new tab. And then to be able to share that into StreamYard so that you can basically mimic local video playback, you share the screen, select that Chrome tab, make sure you click share audio. When it brings you to the, the video tab that you wanna play, you're gonna wanna actually go to full screen at that time. And then when you get back into StreamYard, you'll see that that video is ready. In the stream, in your show, whenever you're ready to play it, you'll just have to go back over to that tab and click the play button and it's ready to go. I, I, I'm, I'm putting that challenge out there to everybody. Try this out. Uh, try it in, you know, do go live in a test stream, not necessarily, you know, do, do it before your actual live stream, like your real show, but try it out. Tell me how it works. If it doesn't, you know, if it's, if it's laggy, if it doesn't, you know, quite work very well, I want to know uh, because I'm trying this out afresh and, and I'm hoping that StreamYard will make this irrelevant pretty soon when they roll out local video playback to everybody. So yeah, that's it. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher. Hoping that somewhere in the video today, somewhere in this new tip, trick, hack, whatever you want to call it, uh, you were able to see that light bulb go off, that you were able to put some of those puzzle pieces together, that you were essentially able to figure out how it all works. Thankful for all of you for how you have supported us throughout 2020 and into this new year and excited about how we can partner together in 2021. Go ahead and check out buymeacoffee.com slash Nugent. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. We want you to be a part of the HIAW family. And we want to make sure that you are notified when we have new content and when we go live. So make sure you hit that bell as well. All right, that's it from me. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. How, how, how it all works.
how, how, how it all works. Come on. How, how, how it all works. <laughs>